Senior pastors choir should line up immediately. Thank you. 
your hands to the Lord. Give your hands to the Lord. Watch my praise, the Lord. My name is Defiant Bread. My presentation is taken from Matthew 7, 1 to the end. And he says, one, judge not that ye be not judged. Two, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with much wager ye met, it shall be measured to you again. Three, and where beyond death thou the more that is in thy brother's eye. But consider it not the beam that is in thy own eye. For, or how would thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the more that of thy own eye. And behold, a beam is in thy own eye. Five, thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thy own eye. And then shall thou be clearly to cast out the more that of thy brother's eye. Six, give not that which is holy unto them. Neither cast ye your spell before to one. Let the trample them under your feet and turn again to rend thee. Seven, and he shall be given you. Seek and ye shall be. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Eight, for everyone that accepts receiveth. He that seeketh findeth. And him that knocketh, he shall be opened. Nine, or what man do of you, whom if his son has a bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? Eleven, if ye then being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children. How much more shall your father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? Twelve, wherefore, all things whatsoever ye should ask man should do to you, do ye evil so to them, for this is the law and the prophet. Thirteen, enter here at the shred gate, for wide is the gate, and brown is the way, which leads to destruction, and many there be which go in thread. Fourteen, because thread is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leads unto life, and few there be that find it. Fifteen, be a one false prophet, which come to you in sheep clothing, but in worldly there are revenue woe. Sixteen, ye shall know them by their fruit, who men got a grace of horn, of fin, of statue. Seventeen, even so every good tree bring forth good fruit, but corrupt tree bring forth evil fruit. Nineteen, a good, a good tree cannot bring forth good fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth evil fruit. Nineteen, every tree we bring not forth good fruit is held down and cast into fire. Twenty, wherefore by the fruit ye shall know them. Twenty-one, and then not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth will of my Father, which is in heaven. Twenty-two, many shall Say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, I will not prophesy in thy name, and in thy name I've cast out devil, and in thy name don't many my fellows walk. 23, and then will I prophesy unto them, and do you not depart from me, you that walk in iniquity. 24, and whosoever heareth this saying of mine, and does it them, I will liken him unto a wise man, who built his house upon the rock. 25, and the rain descended, and the wind blew, and the flood came and beat upon the earth, and it fell not, for it abundated upon a rock. 26. And everyone that heard this saying of mine, and does it them, and does it them not, I would like him more to a foolish man who built his house upon the sand. 27. And the rain descended, and the flood came, and the wind blew, and beat upon the house, and it fell not, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. 28. It came to pass when Jesus have ended his saying. Who were astonished at his judgment? 29. For he thought them as one having authority and not at his feet. Was the bread the Lord? What man praise the Lord? My name is Alasia Victor. I'm here to recite my Bible recitation, which is taken from Isaiah 42, from verse 1 to 10. And it says, Behold, my servant whom I uphold, my alien to whom my soul delighted. I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to the Gentiles. He shall not cry, nor lift up, nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flesh shall he not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. He shall not fail, nor be discouraged, till he has set judgment in the earth, and the issue shall wait for his law. Thus said God, the Lord, he that created the heaven, and spread them out, and, and spread for the earth, and that which cometh out of it, and give it bread unto the people upon it, and speak it to them that walk their end. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory will not give to another. Never my praise to grave in him it. Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. But man, praise the Lord. What 
and praise the Lord. My name is Anderson, and my Bible recitation is taken from 2 Peter chapter 2, from verse 1 to the end. And from verse 1 to 18, and it says, But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord, that brought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. Two, and many shall follow their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Three, and through covetousness shall they within what make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and, and their damnation slumbereth not. For, for if God spared not the end of their sin, but cast them down to hell, and deliver them with the stains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. Five, and spare not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, singing in the flood upon the word of the ungodly. Eight, for that righteous man dwelling among them in sin and yearning, vexed with the filthy conversations of the wicked. Nine, the Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation, and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. Ten, but chiefly are they that walketh after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness, despite the government. Presumptuous are they self with they are not afraid to speak, speak evil of dignity. Eleven, where I have entered with a greater in power and might, bringing not really association before them against the Lord. Twelve, for this shall not another blue beat made to be taken and destroyed. Speak evil of the things they understand that and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. Thirteen, and shall receive the reward of unrighteousness to those who can't eat pleasure to rot at this time. Spot they are and blameless. Spot themselves into their own deceivings while they fast with you. Fourteen, having eyes full of adultery that cannot cease from sin. Relying in our stable souls and hearts that they have exercised with conventional practice, caused children. 15. Which has forsaken the right path and has gone astray, following the way, following the way of Balaam, the son of Bru, who loved the wages of our righteousness. 16. Which, which was rebuked for his iniquity. Dumb and speaking with man voice, forbid the madness of the prophet. 17. 17. These are wells without water. Cloud carry the tempest to whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever. 18. For when they speak grace holy words, they allow through the loss of the veil. Too much want too much wanted. Those that were clean escaped from them who lived in error. That man praise the Lord. Wherefore, wherefore, take out 
that you do do all of my God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and the of the stand. Stand therefore, having your Lord guide about with truth, having all the blessings of righteousness, and your feet shut with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the seed of faith, wherewith it shall be able to quench out the very dark of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is God of God, praying always with our prayers and supplication with the Spirit, and watching there also with our perseverance and supplication in the Spirit for all sins. What my best, the Lord! What man praise the Lord. My name is Ada Ona Chizam. Praise the Lord. I'm here to say my Sisters, very Sisters, let us be under control. My very Oh, yeah, release that boy to go immediately. Stop. I don't want that act again. Is that all right? Okay, start afresh. What man praise the Lord. My name is Ada Ona Chizam Deborah. I'm here to say my very citation. My very citation is taken from Psalm 91, from verse 1 to 16. And he said, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide on the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, which is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pencils. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and on thy dreams shall thou trust. His trust shall build and shield and buckle. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the hour that flight by day. Not for the place that walketh in the darkness, not for the distraction that was it at noonday. A thousand shall fall at sight, and ten thousand on the right side. Boy shall not come near thee. Only that I shall that behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the love which is my refuge, even the most of the habitation. There shall no evil before thee, neither shall any pledge come near the dwelling. For he shall give his angel charge over thee to keep thee in all their way. Thou shalt bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and after the young one. And the dragon shall that temper on thy feet. Because the Lord has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on a head, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him. And I will show him my salvation. What man praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Clap your hands. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Everybody, bring out your Bible. Bring out your Bible and make.
people is doing swag. When they make a description of blood, they remember that then they forgotten all the cry of the humble. That's it. Have mercy upon me, O oh Lord. Consider in my trouble, which I suffer of them that hate me. Fourteen, that I may show forth of the praise in the gate of the daughter of Zion. I will rejoice in thy salvation. Fifteen, the eighteen are so done in the pit that they made in the net, which I hate is their own foot taken. Sixteen, the Lord is known by judgment, which is executed. The weakness is known by the work of his own hand. Haggadah and Salaya. Seventeen, the eighteen shall be turned into hell, and all the nation, and all the nation also. Eighteen, for the name they shall not always be forgotten. The expression of the poor shall not perish forever. Nineteen. Arise, O Lord, let no man prevail. Let the hating be judged in thy sight. Twenty, put them in fear, O Lord, that the nation be known that they must make sure watch my face, the Lord. Proverbs 8, 31. She has finished now. <laughs> Love for Jesus. <laughs> I'm here to learn my Bible citation is taken from Psalm 26, verse 1 to 6. And it says, Number one, judge me, O Lord, for I have walked with my eternity. I have trusted in the Lord, therefore I shall not lie. Number two, examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try my wings and my heart. Number three, for thy loving kindness is before my eye, and I will trust in thy Lord. Number four, number three, number four, I will not speak with vain people, never will I go in with the same blast. Number five, I have hated the congregation of the evil dwarf, so I will not sit with the wicked. Number six, I have watched my innocence, so will I compass the water. Oh, Lord, watch my praise, watch my praise the Lord. Watch my praise the Lord. My name is Annie Chinemeza Julius. I am here to recite my Bible recitation, which is taken from Psalm 22, verse 1 to 10. And he said, verse 1, My God, my God, why art thou forsaking me? Why is thou so proud for helping me? And from the words of my roaring, too, oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but thou hearest not. And in the ninth season, I am not silent. Three, but thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. For our Father trusted in thee, they trusted and thou didst deliver them. Five, they cried unto thee and were delivered. They trusted in thee and were not confounded. Six, but I am a worm and no man, a report of men and the spies of the people. Seven, all they that see me laugh me to scorn. They shoot out the lip, they shake the head, saying, Eight, he that trusted in the Lord that he will deliver him. Let him deliver him. 
seen it delighted in him. Nine, but thou art he that took me out of the womb. Thou didst make me hope when I was upon my mother's breast. Then I was cast upon thee from the womb. Thou art my God from my mother's belly. Praise the Lord. Watchman, praise the Lord. My name is Ayn Dominic. I am here to recite the names of Jesus in alphabetical order. A, Alpha and the Omega, bread of life, beginning and the end. C, the chief cornerstone. D, defender of the weak, the deliverer. E, the, the, uh, Emmanuel, the eternal God. F, the first and the last. G, the good shepherd. H, the high priest, head of church and family. I, the intercessor. J, judge of the whole world, our Lord Jesus Christ. K, the king of kings. L, the Lord of all, the light of the world, the lion of the tribe of Judah. M, the, might, the mediator of Galilee. N, the name above all names. O, the only begotten son of God, the overcomer. P, the prince of peace. Q, the quickening spirit. R, the, the root of David, the rock of ages, the righteous judge, the son of God. T, a teacher, the truth. U, U the unchangeable God. V, divine. W, the word of God, the water of life. Is this man of God is your occupation? Well, if you don't know, I have an answer for you. The doctors call him the life giver. The farmers call him the governor. The authors call, call him the word of God. The transporters call him the way. The lawyers call him the advocate. The photographers call him the, the image of God. The, the electrical engineers call him the light of the world. The animal scientists call him the good shepherd, the, the, engine, the professors call him the wisdom of God. On the nation, watchmen call him President General, call him President General, call him President General among the nations. Watchman, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. John. Watchman, praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. We, are, we the children of Watchman, have come to test our knowledge of the Bible. As you listen, may you be blessed in Jesus' name. As for the competitors, you are given the opportunity to pick the questions you want to answer. For a question which is answered is 10 mark. Bonus, 5 mark. 
And if a question is not answered completely, it's also five mark, that is half. So we'd like to start from the sisters. Pick your number. Number one. What is the theme of this year's Children's Day? The source of God. A round of applause for her. A round of applause for her. To the brothers, pick your question. Number two. Number two. Who are these that have the right to be called the sons of God? Who are these that have the right to be sons of God? I'll mention where we can get it in the Bible. Answer. Those that have accepted Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior, and it can be found in John 1, verse 12. A round of applause for him. A round of applause for him. The next question to the sisters. Speak your number. Which number? Number five. Mention three reasons why we must go to church. Three reasons why we must go to church. Yeah. One, it is an act of obedience to God. Two, to listen to God's words and testimonies. Three, to impart the gift God has given to you to others. A round of applause for her. A round of applause. Brothers, pick your number. Number seven. Number seven. As sons of God, we can develop love for God through dash and dash. As sons of God, we can develop love for God through dash and dash. Pray, reading and meditating on the word of God. That is correct. Here are your sisters. Pick your number. Number eight. Number eight. God changes time and season. He can change the law of nature and kings and nature. How? How did God change the law of nature? The law of kings and the law of nations. Answer. He changed the law of nature by stopping the rotation of the earth when those who are prayers and were not consumed. He changed the law of nation by taking Peter out of the prison through unusual miracle. Correct. A round of applause for her. A round of applause. The next question to the brothers. Pick your number. Number three. Number three. How can we keep ourselves pure in order to go with Jesus when he comes? How can we keep ourselves pure in order to go with Jesus when he comes? Answer. Flee all appearance of evil. Think, do not join or make ungodly friend. Think good thoughts. Avoid ungodly decision or immoral fame. Many one. Many one. Many one. Many one. Many one. Somebody can help him if you know the answer. But if uh, it's only one opportunity that will be given to the next person, after the next one, the bonus go to the sister. Remaining one. Does any of you know it? Bonus to the sisters. Answer. Be watchful and prayerful. A round of applause for her. A round of applause for her. The next question goes to sister. Pick your numbers. Number, Number, Number nine. nine. Number nine. ABC is the simple formula that will help when one follows it in reality and sincerity in becoming born again. What do ABC stand for? And what is the meaning of sincerity? Answer. A stands for acknowledge your sins. 
B stands for believe that Jesus died for you on the cross of Calvary. C stands for confess and forsake your sin and accept the Lord as your Lord and personal Savior. Sincerity is the absence of deceit, pretense, and hypocrisy. A round of applause for our sister. The next question to the brothers. Pick your number. Number five. Number five have been picked. Number ten. Number ten. Name five youths that did exploits for God in their generation. Answer. Deborah. Joseph. David, Daniel, Joshua, Esther. A round of applause for our brother. A round of applause. The next question goes to the sister. Pick your number. Number, number 20. 20. To wait on God means to hope. Trust and have faith in God, expecting him to do something or act. And on the waiting, we must be dash. You give me five reasons. We must be dash. Okay, yes, ten. It's ten reasons. We must be dash. Answer. Be humble. Don't be proud of yourself and feel that you are better than everyone. Two. Oh, always pray about everything. Three, read the Bible daily and mark God's promises and great things he has done. Four, do not complain or murmur when you are not feeling comfortable. Five, speak, good, speak positive words, good words that shows that you will have what you are waiting on God for. Six, six, do not envy those who are doing better than you. Be happy for them. Seven, always testify of what God has already done for you. Eight, be contented and satisfied with what you have. Do not feel inferior to anyone. Nine, nine, do not listen to people who complain or talk down on others. Ten, always follow the right way. As you do all these things, God will soon turn all your needs to testimonies. A round of applause for her. A round of applause for her. The next question goes to the brother. Pick your number. Number 16. Number 16. The book of Psalm 118, verse 17, says dash. The book of Psalm 118, verse 17, says dash. I shall not die, but live to declare the works of God. A round of applause for him. A round of applause for him. The next question is to the sister. Pick your number. Number 18. Number 18. Apostle Paul learned from the mistake of Lot. We are from God's own that tell us not to look back once we have decided to follow Jesus, if we must retain feet for the dash. The kingdom of God. A round of applause for her. The next question goes to the brother. Speak your number. Number 22. Number 22. What are the qualities that makes one a leader like Moses? By leading the Israelites out of slavery. Answer. He was meek and humble. He was obedient both to God and to his parents. He was obedient both to God and the people of God and the people of and the children of God. He was brave and courageous. He was a compassionate intercessor. A round of applause for him. A round of applause for him. The next question goes to the sisters. Pick your number. 25. 25. He neither sleeps nor slumber, was referred as well in the scripture, and completes the verse. 
He neither sleep nor slumber. Was referred at way in the scripture and complete the verse. And complete the verse. It is found in Psalm 121, verse 4. Behold, he never, he, behold, he kept the, his, his, behold, he kept the Israel. Yes. Behold, he leader the Israel. If, wait. So I got us here, huh? Behold, he that keep it, Keep it easy, we never sleep nor slumber. A round of applause for her. The next question goes to the brothers. Pick your number. Number 21. Number 21. Moses lived 120 years. How? And what is wilderness experience? Modi lived 120 years by 40 years in Egypt, 40 years trained by God in Midian, 40 years used by God. Wilderness experience may come to may come in form of trials, temptation, persecution, lack, etc. But the purpose is not to break us, but to make us better Christians. A round of applause for him. The next questions go to the sister. Pick your number. Number 24. What is the theme of last year's Children's Day and the theme of last two years Children's Day? That is the theme of 2021 Children's Day and the theme of 2022 Children's Day. Answer. The 2021 theme of Children's Day is Jesus My Portion, and 2022 is Out of the Mouth of Babes and Sucklings. A round of applause for her. The next question goes to the brothers. Pick your number. 29. John 3.16 says what? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. For whosoever that for whosoever that believe in him shall never perish but have everlasting life. A round of applause for him. <laughs> the next question to the sisters. Pick your number. Number 13. 13, I'll be 30. 13. 13. Number 13. As sons of God. God expects our love for him to be dash and dash. As sons of God, God expects our love for him to be dash and dash. And this is your last question. God expects our love for him to be strong and deep. A round of applause for her. The last question of the brothers. Pick your number. Number 17. Number 17. Dash is a place of restriction of freedom from all form are meant for punishment of criminals and breakers. A very horrible place, an undesirable place. Sounded, sounded minded person must not be compared to hallow a hellfire. Answer, what's the answer? Prison. A round of applause for him. A round of applause for him. We have come to the end of 2023. Children's Day Bible Quiz. And the winner for this year Bible Quiz goes to the sisters with the point of 95 
and the brothers, 85. Watchman, praise the Lord. Watchman, praise the Lord. The drama we are about to present is captioned the sons of God. Please, as you watch, remain blessed. relationship with them. I think we can also help our children to be like that too. Do you think our children are not following our steps? No, that is not exactly what I mean. Considering all they are doing now, you and I can testify they are not doing bad at all. But you know they are children now. I also go into teenage age when many teenagers exercise their independence. Yes, you are absolutely correct. We have special relationship with God and we can't afford to leave our children behind. Father, well, I thank you for the life of our children. Thank we you, We thank Lord. you for all you have done in their lives. As they're going to study your world, give them the grace to understand it in Jesus' name. Amen. children, but we have not picked the date yet. I also think they should join us whenever they are around. I agree with you. I get quiet because I suggested it and I was waiting for your response and decision. Then, let's make it every Sunday evening. Before we sleep, we specially pray for them and by then we are sure they will be awake and around to join us. This is aside the morning devotions. Do you think it's proper why they hear us pray for them? Yes, I think so. Let them hear us pray for them in a special way. 
take that time to read and study the Bible with them also. Okay, adding the Bible in our Bible study will be very good. Through that, you'll be able to help them build a very special relationship with God, which will eventually make up them sons of God at the end. Yes, I want my children to not only become children in God's house, but sons of God, because our sons have a relationship with God. They will mature to be kings and rulers, even in this present day, and among their equals. May God help us to achieve this in Jesus' name. Amen. Are you reading Bible? Yes, you see. Anytime I read the Ankat on most of the servant of God, I feel he has a special relationship with God. I think so. To consider the circumstances in which he was born and how he was saved from drowning in the Bible by remains a mystery. My people, my people. I was just asked when I perceived my spirit to go inside. And then many you people are already reading and discussing the Bible story. Where are you reading? Go and get your Bible first. Timothy, where did you go to? I'll be looking for you. I went to a person in Angelism, and from there, I went to see my friend that preached in school last week. This boy said, though you are the youngest among us, but you do the most exploit. How come you didn't let anyone know you went on first day of Angelism? I want to... I don't believe in my I don't believe in my Mama, good evening, ma. Give me my children. Ebenezer, hey, can't get me a cup of water. Okay, mom. Mom, share water. Thank you, my son. Us to discuss on the child Moses in the palace of the king of Egypt. Yes, I realize his mother taught him very well. I too think I too think the same way because I know since because I noticed Moses later in his life was in the midst of all comfort of life. Yet his mother's teaching to him about the Israelite did not depart from his memory despite his comfort. Yet he was to inherit the throne of Egypt. I wonder why he didn't have much interest in the throne of Egypt. <laughs> you know why? I want to know because no ordinary person will ever reject such a privilege like that. Did you say ordinary person? But we all know Moses is not an ordinary person. So he didn't go for ordinary things like the throne of Egypt. Now we all should know that God doesn't choose ordinary people. He uses people who have a special relationship with him. They are the sons of God. So, Brother Minister, do you mean Moses was the son of God? So Ye my yes, sons of God are those who have a special relationship with him. It gives them special assignments, and they are the leaders, rulers, all these people, no matter their age. So at my age, if I become a son of God, I will also become a leader. Yes, my son, when you have special relationship with God, he gives you special assignments like Moses, Samuel, Josiah, and the four daughters of the great evangelist, Philip. Are they welcome, I believe in sir. All of you come back here. Let us pray. Father, I thank for the life of our children. I thank for what you have done in their life. As they are studying your word, give them the grace to understand it in Jesus' name. Amen.
God, I thank you. About. I was in a dream when the scripture was given to me. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 1 to 10. And it says, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 1 to 10. And it says, The word of Jeremiah, the sons of Hilkai, of the priests that were in Anathoth, in the land of Benjamin, to, to whom the word of the Lord came in the days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah, in the thirteenth year of his reign. Three, it came also in the days of Jack. Joachim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, unto the end on, of the eleventh year of, Zed, of Zedekiah, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, unto the carrying away of Jerusalem, captive in the fifth, in the fifth month. For then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed you, before I formed you in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou comest forth out of the womb, I satisfied thee, and I, I sanctify thee, and I ordain thee a prophet unto the nation. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. Oh, for I am a child. Seven, but the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou go to, for thou go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Eight, be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Nine, then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my word in thy mouth. In thy mouth. Then, see, I have this day set thee over the nation and over the kingdom to, to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. Do you really mean it? I too was in the dream song. Years ago, and I was given Isaiah 49 5 and 6 to read, and he said, oh, Now, and he said, For now said the Lord, that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him. Though Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord, and the Lord shall be my strength. And he said, It's the light in that thou shouldest be my salvation, to raise up the tribes of Jacob, and to preserve the preserve of Israel. I will also give light to the Gentiles unto the end of the earth. Brother, I heard what you were discussing with Timothy. I too had such experience last week. I said I would let mom and dad know, but I have been forgetting it, only to remember it now I heard the two of you. Mine is Isaiah 43 from verse 1 to 2. Does it mean God is establishing a relationship with us one by one? Few weeks ago, I heard it echo into my ear. I thought I didn't say it correctly. But now, hearing this from three of you, I understand God is letting us know something. Mine is Isaiah 44 verse 24. Me, this one you are dressed. Are you going out? Yes, mother of my friend, bless me. See, I want to go and see her. I mean, my friend. Okay, read that for me. Remember to pray for them. Okay, thanks. Bye. Brother Ebi, where's Sister Salome going to? She's going to see her friend whose mother is sick. I pray God will use her to render help to them in Jesus' name. Amen. But Brother Ebi, I need you to tell more about the word. Tell me more about Moses, the son of God, in the palace of Egypt. The, ch the child Moses was born when the king commanded that every male child 
born by the Hebrews in the land of Egypt must be killed. Moses was discovered as a godly child. So, so from childhood, God made him special. His parents decided to hide him from being killed. But when they could no longer hide him, they made a bear, special bed, just in a basket for him. And laid it at the edge of the river Nile. Pharaoh's daughter picked him up when she came to wash herself at the river. And by the help of the elder sister Miriam, he was handed over to his mother, who showed him the word of the Lord and showed him his people who were suffering in the field. Through his mother's teaching, he had compassion of his people and God saw it too. God made him the leader of his people because of his desire to deliver them. He, so from childhood, he engaged in what pleased God and used by God to he grew old. He never forget the godly teaching of his mother. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, sir. Is anyone at home? Bless you, my friend. Come in. The door is open. Sit down. Bless you, my friend. I heard your mother is sick. Where is she? In the hospital with my auntie. What is wrong with her? Nothing. No. All the death you thought didn't show anything. Never mind. She will be okay. Jesus is our healer. When do you want your mother to be back home? I want my mother back in this house tomorrow. Then let's pray and shall be so. Jesus name. Amen. But I thank for all that said by your strive by you. Therefore I command you to bless mother right now in Jesus name. Amen. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Knock, knock. Yes, come in. Whoa. Hey, we surprised to see you by this time. I hope all is well. All is well. Hey, Benisa, I know I've not been good to you. I know I've been doing a lot of evil things to you in this neighborhood. Please forgive me. Abi, she remember the other day that I bought a ball. And I told you, the teacher in our class then flogged you. And the other day, I got a stone stone in your mommy glass. Your mommy then flogged you. Please forgive me. No, stand up now. I'm not God now. Is that why you come? You should know that I am a child of God. And I don't count offense. I'll forgive you since. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Ebenezer. Truly, you're a child of God, and God reward you. Please, as you know how I am starting next week, and I've read my book, and I'm still reading my book. Please, I've come so that you pray for me. I don't want to fail it. my exam again. If I fail my exam, one will beat me now. My dad will beat me. My uncle will beat me. My auntie will beat me. Think of that thing. How many beats will be on my back? Please, pray for me. Oh, yeah, let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I pray God will give you knowledge and understanding to write to exam in Jesus' name. Amen. You will never fail in Jesus' name. Amen. You will be the head and not the thing in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. bothered me so much. What issue? Or do you mean about our family? Yes, our family. You know it is only two of us our parents have. Yeah, they barely feed us. Pay our school fees and other fees we have. I don't understand why it is so. Maybe God wants those children of God to stop this poverty. Then I'll keep a job for two months without being served. And mom's business is going there every day because she does not have money to stock a shop with new products to meet customers' demand. You see, I want us to follow some children I've observed since we back into this neighborhood. My sister, do you see them? I have wanted to go close to them since the first time I saw them to know their secrets. They are real Christian. They follow their parents' church, live decent life, and look, see how they look fresh every day. I have never seen them being sent back from school for not paying their school fees or meeting with school demand. Unlike us, they are sent home every now and again. Joseph, look, look. See who is coming, the person we are talking about. Look at one of them. Let's use this opportunity and talk with her. It is true. Let us see if we can use the opportunity see if they can help us. Sit up here. Sister, sister, I want to talk to you. Yes, how can I help you? Sister, our father barely keep a job. Our mother shop is crumbling every day. Sister, we were always sent for school, but we are looking at your family. Things are be going well for you and your family. Sister, please help us. What are we going to do? It's God, though. The only thing is giving your life to Christ and accepting Jesus and making him the personal savior. Do you know that two of you can be the pillar of your family by praying always? Why don't you come to church with us? In Washman Catholic Charismatic Renewal Movement, Okoko Maiko. In our youth and children ministry, they taught us how to use prayer to change every situation. Are you ready to receive Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Yes, sister. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, any sickness that... Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I commit them with the blood of Jesus. Yes. Father, Lord, as they have come 
Father, Lord, as they have made them, as I've made you as a personal Lord and Savior, Father, may their life never be named the same in Jesus' name. Amen. May they never suffer again in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, sister. about my exam that last that last week. I've never failed any of my, any of my subjects since that last time. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. me. After she prayed for my mother, she got to and was discharged from the hospital. The next day as we agreed in prayers, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 From that day, the whole pray for my family. This never remained the same. This are now better. My father now keep a job and my mom's business is moving. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Walking in the light of God. It is a great thing. Watch man praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Watch man praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Teach a child in the way she should go. And when he grows, he will not depart from it. So today, even though the devil has decided to catch them young, you too should catch them young because the teachings you give them now will manifest in them as they grow and they will start to do exploits with it for God. Philip and his wife surrender their children into the hands of God through prayers because they have their faith. They have their children to establish a special relationship with God. These children of the same parents, these two children of this, these four children of the of this parent, of this family, were being used by God among their fellow children because they never departed from the teachings of their parents. Acts 21 from verse 9. So it is good to teach your children from being ordinary children to becoming sons of God. Sons of God are those who have special relationship with God. Sons of God are those who have been washed by the blood of Jesus and transformed into new creation, their age notwithstanding. They are the ones, the whole creation is earnestly waiting for their manifestation. Romans 8, 19. Therefore, Jesus is not ashamed to call them brethren. These four children of the same parents were being used by God among their fellow children because their parents helped them to establish a special relationship with God. Dear parents, start this beautiful work today. Thank you.
no time to waste. Let's have the next section. The immediate effect. Watchman, praise the Lord. My name is Doshuka Rinze. My name is Obisike Wisdom. We are here on behalf of the Children and Youth Ministries to present our daily devotionals unto you. As you listen attentively, may you be blessed in Jesus' name. Good day, pastors, parents, leaders, and brethren. We are sure that these desires of God are the desires of our pastors, parents, leaders, and everyone seated there today. Our Children's Day this year is titled The Sons of God. All the Watchman children in the Lagos Diocese have released themselves to God through our Lord Jesus. And today, according to John chapter 1 from verse 12, we have received the power to become the sons of God. Praise the Lord. <coughs> our desire is to retain and grow with this experience. And to help us do so, we need to plead that you get each child the copy of the Bible. We want to have a fruitful morning and night devotion. I would like everyone of us to look at our hands. Here are some of the children devotioners from the Washman Catholic Charismatic Kingdom Movement. The children devotioner is titled The Daily Work with Jesus. Okay. Why do you devotioner is titled The Daily Dew? So do you mean I can do you mean I can benefit from these books? Not only you. This book contains a lot of knowledge, wisdom, and every other thing that can help a child of God to grow in the knowledge of God and after get to heaven at the end. So of what age can benefit from this book? All ages, youths, children, adults, families, relations, schools, teachers, everybody who cares to read and use it either for morning and evening devotion, either as a family, personal, or congregational. In fact, some of us use them in schools, and many schools desire that will make them available for the school fellowship and morning assembly. We will now give you some excerpts from our devotionals. The power to turn against serpents and scorpions. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. How to be polite while responding to others. Heaven, sin shall not enter there. We know you agree with us. Here is our plea to you today. Our devotional for now comes out every three months. Aside this for our morning or evening devotions in our families, we use them every Sunday in church. We have our children pastors do weekly review of the messages. So, it is expected that each child or youth come with his own copy. We therefore request that you please make them available for us. And the God of children and youth, we bless you richly. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the book of Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 to 3, and it says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness covered the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Genesis chapter 2 from Genesis chapter 1 from verse 26 to 27. And it says, and God says, let us make man in our image, and after our likeness, let us have dominion over the fishes of the seas, powers of the earth, over the cattle, over the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. And God created man in his image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. Genesis chapter 1 from verse 28, and it says, And God blessed them, and said unto them, Be ye fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over everything that moveth upon the face of the earth. Genesis chapter 2 from verse 15 to 17, and it says, And Lord God took man into the garden to keep it and to dress it. And Lord God commanded unto the man, saying, Of everything in the midst of the garden, that may yes freely eat, but of the fruit of good of knowledge and evil, that shall not eat of it. 
For on the day that he tells thereof, he shall surely die. Genesis chapter 3, from verse 1 to 2. And he says, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field that the Lord has made. And he said unto the woman, Hey, has God said, on, has God said that you shall not eat of every fruit of the tree in the garden? And the woman answered and said, we, mo- we may eat of every fruit of the tree in the garden, but we, may, but we might not eat of every fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. Genesis chapter 3 from verse 3 to 5. And he says, But of the fruit of the tree, but of the fruit of the tree of good of knowledge and evil, God has said, You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest he die. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die, for God knows that in the day that he tells thereof, he shall be like God, knowing good and evil. Genesis chapter 3 from verse 5 to 6. And he says, Now the wickedness of man was great upon the earth. And that the thought of man was only evil continually. And he repented the Lord that he had made man of earth, and it grieved him at his heart. Psalm chapter 51, verse 12. And he says, Restore unto me the joy of my salvation, and renew a life spirit within me. Isaiah chapter 6, from verse 8. And he says, And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I answered and said, Here I am, send. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, and he says, Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. His government shall be upon his shoulder. His name shall be called Wonderful, Marvelous, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. John chapter 1, from verse 1 to 2, and he says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with him. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. John chapter 1, verse, five, from verse 4 to 5. And it says, And the light was the life of men, and the light shineth unto the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. John chapter 3, from, John chapter 3, from verse 16 to 18. And it says, For God so loved the world, that he gave not his only begotten Son, that whomsoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world, that the world may be condemned, but that through him we might be saved. John chapter 14, verse 2, and it says, In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I will go and pay place for you. John, Philippians chapter 4, from verse 9, and it says, Those things that ye have heard and received and seen me do, do it, and the God of peace shall be with you. Receive him now, now, for tomorrow tomorrow may be too late. Thank you. You can do better than that. Put your hands together for our children. Shall we rise as we offer unto the Lord? 